How's it going everybody? Today, I'm going to see if I can get better at wheelies on this TTR. Most of the moto vlogs I'm going to try to do are going to be on the street, but it's because of the quarantine and all that stuff going on right now, it's been, it's been kind of tough to go ride. I don't want to go ride the street bike right now or something and end up going down and then having to go to the hospital with everything for a couple weeks or so. But luckily you got the TTR and some space in the backyard. So that's about where my wheelies are at right now. It's pretty pathetic. This thing also just doesn't have the torque. You have to basically get it right up to the balance point and then and then hold it there with the brake. You can't really use rely on the power at all. I'm hanging my left foot off just to help me get up and started. That was better. I can wheelie the KTM all day long because it has as much torque as a street bike because it's 525cc. Whew. I'm riding with the choke on because it just helps with these low speed, helps with the low speed wheelies because the bike just will, wants to die. Idle's too low and I don't feel like going to turn up the idle right now. That's a little better. I'm filming on a Hero 8 2.7k res on the Superview. The Road Go mic. Let me know how you, what you guys think of the quality and the sound. It's a pretty nice day to be riding. Alright, here, so I'll try a second gear. Yeah, it's not happening. There's no torque. You have to go right to the balance point. I can't do that yet. It'd be nice if I can get it into second after I get it up. Let's see if I can see if I can pop it up in second. All right, this is second gear. Oh, that might work. Oh, I killed it. This bike will not start in gear to save its life. It's not like the clutch is engaging or anything. I don't know. Let me know if you know. It helps to do them on the hill because you can just get that balance point quicker. Woo! I didn't have my foot on the rear brake and almost cooked it right there. It's definitely a lot easier to wheelie the bigger bikes because they just have so much power. This thing is so robbed of power and torque. Like see that just bogs out. You gotta be careful kickstarting dirt bikes and vans and shoes like that. When I was probably like 14, I went to kickstart my YZ125 and kicked the ground and dislocated my middle toe and broke it at the joint and dislocated it. That was not fun. There we go. Oh, still chasing it out. I'm not at the balance point yet. But yeah, lesson learned. If you're going to be starting in vans or shoes like that, you got to be careful with it because it will definitely end poorly. Oh, rear brake grabs well though. I mean, I should definitely be able to, to get it up and hold it up once I can get to that balance point. On the big bike, the wheelies, it's actually much easier to do a wheelie standing up or um, standing on the seat, which seems like the most sketchy of them. Oh, something in the power cut there. That wasn't even me. I didn't touch it. But yeah, so the standing on the seat wheelies seem super scary to try, but they're actually probably the that was probably the first wheelie I could do well. Woo. That was tall. There we go. I'm getting too high up in the revs too quick, and then it's just sucking it down. One thing I didn't know about wheelies for a long time, the um, when you go past 12 o'clock in a wheelie, the the engine braking actually starts bringing you, starts bringing you the other direction. It'll actually suck you down to the ground compared to pulling the front wheel back down like this. It wants to actually pull you towards the ground because you're past the centrifugal whatever. So that's why you see when when people do 12 o'clock, they always grab the clutch. 
and then catch it in the brake and then I'll let the clutch back out until they're coming down. Okay, let's just take a break from wheelies and try some just fast riding around. Get an arm pump from a little TTR 125. I haven't, haven't been riding in a while. That one was pretty good. I need to get it high at low RPMs. Ooh. This bike almost died. This thing has such a low idle. Let me know in the comments if you guys have any tips on how to get past that. That how to get more comfortable with catching it with the brake. See, cause I'm just getting too up, high up in the RPMs and then it's, Ooh. <laughs> I'm getting high up in the RPMs and then it's just um, slapping it right back down to the ground. I need to keep my RPMs lower. That was a little better. I was actually pretty tall. I didn't even touch the brake. I wonder. I think I can go a little farther back than I'm than I'm thinking. Let's see. I'm gonna try to not touch the brake and see how far back I can get it. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I can definitely go farther back. That was tall. Oh, that's it. That's it. I just figured it out right there. I just gotta go a smidge farther back than I thought I needed to. That's it. Ready? Here we go. Yeah, I almost can get it to the point like where the idle is just rolling. That's it for sure. Making progress. All right, here we go. See, that was no brake. I think, and the higher you get the RPMs up, the more engine braking you have too. So that's playing a role. Let me know how you guys think the mic and the camera are working though. I just got the mic today. I'm hoping to, I'll get some street moto vlogs out soon. All right, here we go. That was pretty good. All right, let's see. I'm gonna try to go slow and go as far back as I can. Cause that's what keeps messing me up. I have to chase it out. All right, slow. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> that was kind of cool. Let me know if you guys want to see more TTR videos or if you want me to stick to street and big bikes. I think this thing's fun. Come mess around in the backyard with. That's why everybody should have one of these things. I guess if you have land, living in residential with dirt bikes sucks. That was pretty far back. Not this bike itself, but um, TTR 125 is actually my first bike. These are great, great beginner bikes. Right, I'm getting a little bit of progress. I feel like I'm, I'm getting up to the balance point and not, I gotta just, I keep hitting the brake too hard and it's coming down. I'm used to the KTM where you can smash the brake and then just catch it with the throttle. Here it's like you gotta barely feather it. Yeah, that was barely feather and it still came down. Ready? Pull shot it. All right, I'm gonna try sitting a little farther back on the seat. We'll see if that helps. All right, sitting a little farther back. Now it just makes it sketchy. I gotta figure it out though now and where the, where the distance is. Yeah, see, as soon as you get too high up in the RPMs, it just slaps it right back down. All right, here we go. All right, that's, that's it for sure. I'm getting it. That was the best one I've done so far. I was both, both feet on, felt good. 
on my KTM every time I'm doing a tall wheelie I get gas comes up out of the gas cap and like gets into my mouth and stuff it's annoying anytime I'm doing like over third gear wheelies All right, that was probably my best one has both feet on it's getting a little better I think it helps going the other way because it's a little bit of a hill on the KTM I can do the the wheelies where you stand on the seat for days because you can just sit there and if you're if you go too far back it's super easy to correct when you're standing on the seat Ooh, it kind of goes against what you think it's actually a lot a lot easier to do the wheelies sitting on the seat that was a pretty good one all right now I'm just getting worse okay I'm just, I think I'm starting to just get too sore Let's try the. I know they're sketchy on this little bike because it's <laughs> has no torque. I'm gonna try a seat wheelie. <laughs> yeah, see, that just doesn't have the torque, and it's just <laughs> so uh, the suspension on this thing is not meant for that. I think I'm gonna call it there for today, but make sure to drop a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe because moto content is coming just got the mic today so i'm gonna hopefully drop two to three videos a week as long as i'm not sick so it's definitely coming but let me know what you guys think what you guys want to see and thanks for tuning in